Hello all, good evening. Welcome to my YouTube channel, All About VLSI. Hope you're all doing good, right? So let us start today's session. So before starting today's session, please make sure that you have a subscriber to to our channel, All About VLSI, right? Yeah. So let's start today's session. We are, in this session we are going to uh, see the topics uh, polymorphism and inheritance with the help of coding. So we will take some examples and we will see how to code this, uh, <clears throat> how to analyze this inheritance and uh, polymorphism, okay? So we will see uh, with the help of some coding, okay? And I hope my voice is audible and my screen is visible. So let us start today's session. Wait a minute, let me... simulation yeah i hope my screen is also visible yeah so i have created a file uh, here so let me zoom in let me zoom in further yes so let us start uh, our, our code by declaring the parent class first okay so if you haven't watched the previous sessions uh, yet so please do watch them then only this video you will get uh, some understanding okay then only you will understand this uh, particular session okay so all the theory which is needed for the coding part which uh, we have discussed in our previous sessions okay so please watch that if you haven't watched them okay yeah so we will start by declaring our parent class or you can say base class parent class so first I will declare my parent class. Let's say my parent class name is animal. Okay. And uh, first we will declare normal functions. Then we will see virtual functions. Okay. Function void speak. So it is a function of void type. And the name of the function is let's say speak. And let us display something. Display animal makes a sound. Okay. So this is a function which is present inside my uh, animal class which is present in my animal class and this is, and this is the parent class okay and this is the parent class okay now ending the function and ending the class ending the function and ending the class now let me derive a let me create a child class or a derived class you can say or derived class how to create a child class or derived class this also we have discussed in our previous session how to create it by extending by using the keyword extends class let's say dog so this class name is dog which is getting extend extends from animal which is getting extended from animal okay now let us create one more function void and the function name is same as the parent class function okay to override a function in the parent class by the child class the function name should be the same that we have already discussed in our previous session okay so i am taking the same function name function void speak and uh, i will display something let's say dollar display dollar display dog barks okay so this is what i am going to display and ending the function and ending the class okay so this is my derived class of animal so animal is a parent class and uh, dog is a child class and the function is uh, function name is same but the content is different okay now i will uh, create one more class called uh, cat okay so this is also a derived class of my animal okay this is also derived class of my animal so i will write it child class of animal so this is also a child class of animal and class cat extends animal so animal is a parent class of dog and cat okay animal is a parent of dog and cat so dog and cat are being derived from my uh, which class animal class now dog uh, sorry now cat class will also have the same function function void sorry not the same function same function name okay function name is same function void speed and i will display something dollar display uh, let's say cat news okay so this is what I am written and ending the function okay and ending the class so I have derived uh, basically I have created three classes one is parent class 
and two are child classes okay what is parent class what is child class everything we have discussed in our previous session so if you haven't watched them please uh, uh, watch them so that you will get a clear idea okay yeah so we have created one parent class and two child classes okay these two child classes are getting extended from my parent class called admin okay now i will create a module module inheritance underscore polymorphism underscore example okay so this is my module name within an initial begin block initial spelling is wrong initial begin what i will do is i will create the handles for animal animal underscore h so this is a parent class handle i will write it here it is parent class handle and uh, i will create the uh, dog class handle dog underscore h which is child class handle first child class handle first child class handle okay and i will create one more class handle which is cat cat underscore h this is second class handle second class second child class handle okay so these are the child classes of two child classes of my one parent class there is only one parent class which is which is called as animal okay now uh, i have created the handles for the three classes now i will create the object for this handles how to create the object animal underscore h is equal to new i will create the objects like this and dog underscore h is equal to new and uh, cat underscore h is equal to new cat underscore h is equal to new so like this i am going to create three objects for my three handles animal underscore h is equal to new cat uh, dog and dog underscore h this not dog this dog underscore h is equal to new handle name is dog underscore h right and cat underscore h is equal to new like this i have created three objects okay now first with the help of my parent class handle i am going to call the method animal underscore h dot uh, speak i will call the method with the help of my uh, parent class handle which is animal underscore h i am ending the module okay now let us see what are our outputs and uh, i will call the child classes uh, first i will call the parent class object then we will call the child class objects so this is what i am written now okay so basically what i have done i have created i have created three classes one is parent class and two child classes which are deriving from this parent class dog and cat are uh, child classes which are getting derived from my parent class okay now uh within a module i have created handles of these three uh, classes one is parent class handle and uh, two are child class handles and i have created objects for my three handles animal underscore h is equal to new dog underscore h is equal to new and cat underscore h is equal to new and i am calling the method uh, which is present in my parent class with the help of parent class handle animal underscore h dot speak that is obvious let's see the output what we are getting let me compile this compilation successful let me simulate start simulation on uh, yeah this is the module inheritance underscore polymorphism yeah and let me run this so we are getting output animal makes a sound since we are displaying the since we are displaying the parent class method we are getting the output as animal makes a sound this we are already cleared okay now let me end the simulation and let me show one more thing yeah now let us call the child class methods so let us call child class methods uh, let's say dog underscore h dot speak and cat underscore h dot speak
okay now let us see what is what we are getting let me compile this compile selected and simulate this start simulation inheritance underscore example some yeah this enter and let me run this yeah. so at the output obvious that is obvious that we are getting all the methods so here animal makes a sound we are calling this method so that's that all, that is what we are printing dog barks and cat meows okay so since we are calling it with the respective handles we are getting the outputs as expected only okay so i think up to here it is clear so i think we have discussed this from our previous sessions also now what we will do we will perform the polymorphism so before uh, performing polymorphism how to perform a polymorphism that is one handle that is parent class handle should uh, act as a child class handle so what is a parent class handle here animal underscore h is a parent class handle now this animal underscore h should work as a child class handle this animal underscore h should act as a child class handle that is what polymorphism right that is what we have discussed in our previous sessions also parent class handle will act as a parent class handle as well as child class handle that is polymorphism that we have discussed in our previous session so how to uh, assign this animal underscore h is equal to uh, dog underscore h okay so is the vice versa is it is it uh, valid dog underscore h is equal to animal i will write it here uh, let's say cat underscore h is equal to animal underscore h is it possible can anyone answer have you watched the previous session so the vice versa is it possible cat underscore h is equal to animal underscore h is it possible okay let's see if is it, if it is possible or not cat underscore h is equal to animal underscore h so first i will remove this and first let's check this uh, this type of assignment animal underscore h is equal to dog underscore h that is child class is assigned to parent class okay yesterday we have seen right child class is assigned to parent class now what i will do i will call animal underscore h dot uh, what is it uh, method name is uh, speak let's see the output i will comment the first one okay so what i am doing basically uh, i want to try the polymorphism whether it will work or not without the virtual keyword okay without the virtual keyword what happens let's see okay i haven't declared any virtual keyword yet uh, in my method i haven't declared any virtual keyword okay so i want to show what happens if we don't use any virtual keyword and if we try to uh, uh, if we try to check whether the polymorphism can be attained or not okay achieved or not so what i am doing basically i am assigning my child class dog underscore h is my child class to a parent class and i am calling the parent uh, method with the help of parent class so what we think so uh, what we think ideally is uh, the the method which is present in the dog underscore h class should be called because this animal underscore h is pointing to a dog uh, underscore h class h object so if we try to call the speak method it should call the method which is present in dog class it should it should call this method in the dog class okay this is what i am thinking okay this is what i am thinking okay i hope it is clear what i am thinking it, is it clear so what i am doing basically i am assigning animal underscore h is equal to dog underscore h that is this handle is pointing towards this dog underscore h object and i am calling the speak method with the help of my animal underscore h dot speak so what i am thinking is the method which is present in the dog class will be called okay this is my assumption now let us save this and uh, uh, compile this i am telling that uh, my polymorphism will work my polymorphism will be achieved okay animal class that is parent class will work as a child class i am expecting okay let's see the output let me run this now at the output if we observe let me zoom in this at the output 
we can see what display statement is being printed animal makes a sound uh, which class method is it it is parent class method it is parent class method so this method is being printed but what we are expecting we are expecting that this method would be print that is the parent class will be acting as a child class so this method will be printed but that is not happening okay that is not happening so to achieve uh, that polymorphism we are going to use the keyword virtual so that the parent class now can act as a child class also that is what polymorphism that we have already discussed right so we will uh, we will attach a keyword called virtual with the parent class object so that our parent class handle can work as a child class handle now let me end this simulation and let me run it again i have added the virtual keyword with my function in the parent class and let me compile this first let me reset the layout also yes sir. yeah compilation successful let me simulate it and let me run this yeah if you observe the at the output we are getting dog barks so we are getting the method from the child class so the child class method has been overridden by the parent class method since we are using virtual keyword so here in this particular scenario with the help of the virtual keyword we are able to we are able to achieve polymorphism here the parent class is now acting as a child class here now parent class is acting as a child class here the parent class is now acting as a child class so if you are calling the speak method with the help of this animal underscore h in this scenario this parent class is now acting as a child class that is dog underscore h so the method which is present in the dog class will be printed so here we are getting the output as dog barks here we are getting the output as dog barks so to achieve the polymorphism we use the keyword virtual so that so that the parent class can act as a child class also that is what polymorphism okay yeah so i hope with this example you have got a clear idea about what is meant by inheritance and what is meant by polymorphism and what is meant by virtual keyword okay and what happens if we use the virtual keyword and what happens if we don't use the virtual keyword right i hope uh, about uh, all these concepts it is clear okay yeah so that's all for this session so if you like this session please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel all about real estate thank you and if you are having any doubts or queries you can ping me in the chat i will try to resolve okay yeah thank you